Hello, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of the Arms of Happiness, the podcast. I'm Dana, aka DWJ. Jellybean decided that she wanted to stick around for this one, so you may see her ears. Uh, she's sitting in my lap. She pulled up next to me just as I was about to hit record, and I said, sure, why not? So today, uh, I thought we'd talk a little bit about tools, almost like a what's in your project bag kind of thing, because I love seeing what other people use or what you feel like are your must-haves and that you need to use, or sometimes you find something that might be really useful or helpful to someone else. So I thought I'd share that today. Um, in terms of what I've been knitting and what I'm wearing currently, uh, this is my recently finished Tobe Pond tank. Um, and whenever I talk about, whatever I talk about uh, in this blog, I will have a link to my blog so you can actually get links and get more details, find out what it is or see more details on my project page, all that. But this is my Togepon tank. Um, it is knit with Barocco Maya yarn, which is like a linen yarn with a little bit of alpaca in it. And then the project behind me is what I've recently been working on, and it is the new Joji Locatelli uh, Super Simple Striped Summer Sweater. Pretty sure that's the full name of it. And I am doing a cotton version. So this is also some Barocco Pima, the solid. And then that Birdies Knits yarn that I shared with you guys, I think in my last video about cotton, is this fun color, the umbrella drink, that I decided to do a little something fun with my stripes. So that's my work in progress. I'm excited. I'm almost finished with this yoke. It gets to be over 300 and some odd stitches in my size. But I can see that the end is near. It is coming. All right, but you know you got a little hair on me when you gave me kisses. So let's talk about tools, all the things that I kind of love and that I use on a daily basis. One of the things that I use every single time that I knit is my iPad, but it's really the application that I use. And I've talked about this on the blog before too, and I can link to that post. But I use the JKnit HD uh, pattern reading program because when you go into a pattern it allows you to i hope you can see a little bit highlight each line as you go through it um, but before i even bring a pattern into that program uh, i like to use the note shelf application so that i can highlight and mark up a pattern uh, in my size or even use the pen tool to white out the other sizes so I don't get confused and I only see the instructions for my size. So I do that first and then I pop it into the JD Knit Lights so that I can highlight as I'm going along. And I'll put notes in there or how many repeats, things like that, that I think that I should pay attention to. So if you are a technology person and you don't like printing out your patterns, I highly suggest that for iPad and I'll link to those. I'm always asked what needles I use. So, <laughs> I have, I'd say, probably two complete sets of needles and then a lot of hodgepodge. Um, I've got circular needles and little miniature notebooks upstairs and sleeves, but really, once I realized how many sweaters I knit, and often I'll have three projects on my needles at once, and sometimes I would need the same needles, um, I decided to get two full sets of needles. Um, so I actually have a fun pencil case that's rainbow, that's a Kiplinger pencil case that was fun, but I use it to house a lot of my needles. So my main needle set is the Likey Driftwood needle set with the interchangeable um, cables. I use those. Um, a lot of my other needles I fell in love with last year, and they're all loose because I didn't prepare before I started filming. Um, these are the Knit Picks four square needles. So they're actually square knitting needles and they're supposed to be a little bit more comfortable on the wrist. I like using them as well. These are wood. I also have almost every size in the interchangeable set um, for the Addy Pro needles that are metal that are um, come with all the different cables. And so I tell people I like to use interchangeables so that I can mix and match, but I also like to have a complete set of wood and a complete set of metal because I find that different fibers feel better, flow better on different needles. I'm not going to use a rougher wool um, or maybe even a rougher cotton 
on my square wood needles because it's not going to be as smooth. But I definitely will use it um, on my Leiky Driftwoods because they are a little bit smoother and cotton really, really works well with metal needles to me. Now, if I'm working on something in mohair, like my Love Note sweater, I definitely want to use wood so that the mohair has a little bit more stick to it and I don't feel like it's just flying off my needles. Um, and a question that I get asked often that kind of throws me off is how I knit sleeves. I'm not a magic loop person at all. Um, and I think double points are messy. So usually I will just take my interchangeables and go down to the smallest cable. But I am a fan of the Addy Flexi Tips. So it's like having double points. It's like a hybrid between a double point and a knitting needle. And I love them. They're kind of flexible. You put, you split your sleeve in, onto these two needles and then you use this third one to knit it around. I find that I don't drop stitches as much as I did with double points and I feel like it's a little bit smoother and especially when it's a smaller sleeve that's not going to fit on my smallest interchangeable needle, then I really love my flexi flips. Um, and I'm also a person where, like I bought my Likey full set when they went on sale the day after Christmas that I knew was going to be like a Christmas gift to myself that year or Knit Picks always has a needle sale like every quarter uh, and so I waited until I knew they were going to have a sale and then I bought my four squares um, so I'm definitely a person who waits for a sale and looks for that but I know what kind of materials and things I really want and want to use but these definitely some of my favorites other things that I always have, I used to use different rulers to try and fit gauge, but this is probably the easiest gauge finding tool to help you figure out how many stitches in that four inches that you have. I love this thing. Um, it's by Ackerworks, I believe, is what it says on here. I'll definitely link to this. You knit your swatch, sit it right on top, and then you just read the amount of stitches in between the slats. Easy peasy. I will say this though, I am still horrible at figuring out how to read my Brio stitches. So that's always a crapshoot for me. So this is definitely a favorite. Um, I always have a, uh, this is my boy, this is my boy uh, ruler that has a needle gauge in it too. So I always have this um, because sometimes I can't see what needle number it is that I'm using with my glasses on and I need a little reinforcement to make sure that that is indeed a size 7 and not a size 6. I always have a little pouch that has my tapestry needles in them. I prefer a needle that has a little bit of a curve to it. I just find that it's easier to use, easier to see, flows through the sweater a little bit better. I think I have 8 billion fun tape measures anytime uh, my local yarn shop, Fiber Space, has a new one. I seem to pick them up and go, oh, I could use this. You always need a tape measure, always need one. And I have multiple projects going on, so I have at least three tape measures at once. And I love, 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 love yarn socks. I'm sure I could do this with something that cost me a little bit less. I'm sure. But I haven't and it was already created and it's easy and it's one of those things where I go, why not just buy it? So a yarn sock is just this little tube, super stretchy and elastic that you can put your ball of yarn in so that it doesn't unravel, especially with some of these slippery yarns uh, and it stays nice and neat as you're working on a project. I love these things and I feel like I need a good 20 of them because of all the projects that I'm forever working on, but this definitely makes my life a lot easier. Uh, I was doing the Labrio Hem Cardigan with the Patton's Metallic Yarn, which is just slippery slides everywhere, and this saved my life because I was going to go insane with those. And then I love tiny zipper pouches because if you could really see inside, it's just filled with all of my stitch markers. And I love to have some of the fun and decorative stitch markers um, so that you can actually distinguish what is the beginning of the round for your project. So like I've got a cute little Nerdbird Makery one that's her Nevertheless She Knitted logo. Um, a friend of mine 
sent me tiny stitch markers that look like little skeins of yarn. That's one of my favorites. I always have a billion loose um, locking stitch markers in my bag. And I always have um, stitch markers that are varying colors. Like these are blue and purple because I like sometimes to know this is where my sleeve is, this is where the back is, especially if it's a, pro a project that might be a little bit more complex. Sometimes it's nice to break it up in colors with your stitch markers. One of the other tools that I really, really love um, is this teeny tiny, it's a repair tool. It's got a tiny crochet hook on one end and then almost like a knitting needle on the other end. And this helps me pick up stitches that I drop and save some of my projects when I drop a stitch. This, and it's small enough that it works on every single size. Absolutely love this thing. I need to buy another one to put it in my second bag that I tend to carry around with me. But this is probably one of my most prized life-saving knitting tools. Love this thing. And I'm also a sucker for cute decorative uh, scissors. Um, these are little hearts on the handles. I've seen really cute unicorn ones, um, but you definitely know that you need some. But if you are flying and you're flying with your knitting, I highly suggest you just buy yourself a really inexpensive nail clipper to help clip the ends. I fly and fly with my knits all the time, and this is a lifesaver. Um, but that is just what I wanted to show you guys today. Just a few of the fun little things that I like to have in my knitting bag. Um, so definitely share with me some of your favorite pieces, things that you love, and things that always kind of help you get through your project. All right? Thank you. Um, Jelly Bean, say goodbye to the people. Bye.